In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to move a model, which has multiple parts in it, similar to this elevator right here, which has four different parts in it. And now let's take a look at how we can do this. So here I have my elevator. My elevator has four different parts. It has the base, which is red, and the three sides, which are gray or white. And I have them highlighted on the right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to group them into a model. And let's rename it to elevator. Next, I'm going to have to select a primary part for the elevator. So I'm going to make sure you have the elevator selected. Go to the properties window and go to primary, primary part you can see that the primary part is blank. So click on the blank space next to primary part and it's going to give you a pointer for you to select which part is your primary part. So I'm going to select the elevator base. Go to the elevator, elevator base and click on that. As, soon, as soon as you click on the elevator base, you're going to see that the system automatically fill in elevator base as the primary part in the uh, properties window for you. Next, we're going to go to the elevator and add a script. Let's start with declaring a variable for the elevator. So local elevator equals to script dot parent next we're going to declare a variable for the primary part of the elevator so let's say primary part equals to elevator dot primary part now let's work on our move up function so we got to declare local function move up and inside our function we're going to have a for loop for i equals to equals to 1 through 300 2 it, inside this function i'm sorry inside this for loop we're going to have to check to see if the model is a model or is it a part because if it's a model, we're going to use different logic to move it up than if it's, it is a part. So let's say if elevator colon is a model, then else then we're going to do that else we're going to do something different now if the elevator is a model we're going to say elevator set primary part c frame and we're going to set that to the primary part dot c frame and we're going to add the vector 3 to it plus vector3 dot new and we're gonna have three different values we're gonna have the XYZ values so to move the part up all we do is we add something to the Y position and nothing to the X and the Z position the Y position I'm gonna I'm just gonna add point one and Z position is gonna be zero now, on the other hand, if our elevator is just a regular part, it's not a model, then we're going to do it the same way we did it in our previous lessons, where we're just going to say elevator dot C frame 
equals to elevator dot C frame plus the vector three. The same exact vector three. And with all the loops, I'm gonna put in the weight. Oops. So basically this for loop is gonna keep repeating for 300 times until our elevators, our, our elevators at the top. Um, let's put in the weight here. We're gonna wait for two seconds. And that's all we needed for the move up. So now let's copy our move up function and create our move down function from, from the move up function. So I'm just gonna change this to move down. And we have to make a few minor changes in here. Instead of moving up by 0.1, I'm gonna move by negative 0.1. Everything else is the same. Same here, negative 0.1 and everything else is going to stay the same. And then we just need to call those two functions. So as we done before, we have the while true. So it's go it's going to go on forever. Do. And here I'm just going to call my move up function. So I'm going to do the move up followed by the move down function. Let's run to test. Let me run catch my elevator. Oh, man, I missed it again. All right, so I'm gonna have to wait for it to come back down. But as you can see, all the parts are moving together as one piece. So basically all you have to do is move the primary part and everything else will move together as one piece.